previously on the Barber Movement. And then I put my hand up my back, and my hand was covered in blood. And I was like, fuck. Full. Fully covered, brother. Uh. Shirt. Our friend wanted to own, uh, what to call it, like, open his own, open his own shop. shop, but it never happened because of some troubles. Yeah. I was in a bad situation, I didn't even know what to do, bro, like, because I'm only money what I had, I was, I had from DJing and maybe I, I just uh, sold some beats or something, you know, I'm on a skin gang, you know. Yeah. <laughs> This is about um, presentation and service and how you hold yourself and this is also very important because in the barber shop not everything is about cutting hair but one of you is going to win the chance to come with me to Norway to my shops there and do a full day's training. Let's go man, let's head off. Almost like one year just at home and cutting hair at home bro. I was like traveling all around the Prague taking Ubers or something with the bags of, with the clippers and doing the how would you call it, private haircuts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, each of you are gonna come inside one by one, and then the scenario we've set up inside is Peter, the only, the only clue I'm gonna tell you is that Peter is a customer that's just walked into the shop, and that's all I'm gonna tell you. And I want each of you individually to deal with that scenario, however you think the best way to deal with it is. That's all I'm gonna tell you. You helped me a lot because you... Oh, you called me, bro. You yeah, called me, bro. Yeah, I remember the phone call, man. Like, bro, if you need anything, yeah, I got your back or something. So I always had, had you as a, like, a, Safety. if anything's gonna happen, you, know, you, you save my ass, innit? I love the energy if you get if you get some good people around you, you know? Yeah. That makes the good crew and good vibes, innit? So family, bro. Family, innit? Family business. And that is, that is what about, all about, yeah? yeah? The barbering is just like a... I don't know, a like lifestyle, innit, yeah. you know? So the guys have to present their coffee and customer skills. Up first is funny man, Nick. How are you, Peter, today? It's good, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can I do for you? Uh, I will ask you for a haircut today. Yeah. Oh, man. Sorry, we're totally busy today. There's a reservation right now, bruv, yeah? Yeah. A reservation, you have a free spot right now. Yeah, we got spot for you, no problem, man. Okay, so, great. So, sit right now, can I offer you something for drink? Now, how was your day, Pete? day Peter? Working for the longie. Working for the longie. So you can wrap out this coffee machine. <laughs> for you, man. Make cheers. cheers. I myslím, že Nick byl skutečně moc sebevědomý a, a že možná trošičku s pokorou. You meeting your friends every day, bro. Every month you you know that you're gonna get some friends coming, bro. Yeah, so crazy. we made it, bro, for the one show. But yeah. And everything what you you said before that happened, bro. Actually, yeah. everything you said to me, as you told me, like I swear on my kids, this is gonna happen because we. I remember the days we sitting in the shop with Patrick and just waiting, just watching the thing. And first thing, what makes me or brings me more customers was was the tip from you that you told me, like message the customers. What's up? I asi ti udělám nový, protože tady jsem zapomněl nastavit, že chci jenom espresso. Nevadí ti to? Chvíli počkat. Omlouvám se. To by byl lehce nervózní a zároveň si myslím, že právě jak připravoval tu kávu, jak jsem to trošičku nepovedlo, tak to nevypadalo úplně profesionálně, ale myslím si, že to se může stát každému, ale zvládlo to v celku dobře, takže za mě asi jako OK, tady ten přístup. You nearly smashed the hole in the DeLonghi machine when you was uh, emptying the coffee, so maybe be a bit more gentle. Next time you can pick the coffee up 
and tap it gently. And then I was seeing the rest of your system, bro. Filling up. Filling up, bro. Yeah. So I was like, fuck, that works, bro. Some magic's happening here. Yes. <laughs> that wasn't even magic, bro. That was just... The natural process. Yeah, innit? like here in the Czech Republic, it's, everybody thinks they just open the shop and everything will come to them. Yeah. But you have to go out and get that. Next up, the nervous English man who broke the record for most questions asked in one minute. Coffee on the walls again, no problem, yeah? I'll call you a coffee. So how did you hear about us? How did you hear about the shop and stuff? Yeah. And what kind of coffee would you like? Espresso, Americano? Yeah. Have any plans for today? Yeah. Go for a date? Yeah, yeah, where are you going? Well, yeah. You have a... Uh... Oh, I'm not going to do that. Team Yeah, it's uh... And you're, you're from the Czech Republic? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do for work and stuff like that? I'm working for Delonghi. Delonghi, yeah? How is it? How do you how do you like it? So how long uh, have you been working for Delonghi for? Yeah. What did you do before the Delonghi? Do you have uh, some kind of job with the coffee still? Or is this the first time you've no. Yeah? How, how was that for you? Do you have any hobbies like sports or uh, anything like this? Um, what kind of sports sport do you like? The football, the, the, the ice hockey in the Czech Republic? The PD support? What's your team? In, in the Czech Republic. Just not enough, I mean the football, because you said maybe you want to football sometimes? Well, no. Just, 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 no, I just no. do things right, for okay. look. There you go, sir. Uh, he needs to slow down and calm down a little bit. I come from a smaller city and sometimes I'm missing the nature and stuff, so I love the, the energy of the city, but if you live out of Prague, you have to go to the work like 40 minutes every day. Yes. It's gonna make you like stereotype struggling every day, but if you love the, the wipe in the barbershop, it's like it's it's nothing, bro. Worth the trip. We have got a second home, bro. If you got problems, you can go to the barber shop <laughs> and, and it's out, bro. You know? Yes. That's what it is. Uh, my thing is like family, music. I was barbering, bro. Yes, good morning. Good morning, sir. Hi. How's it going? Oh, good? It's great. Coffee, Coffee and yeah? Water is perfect. <laughs> so, what kind of coffee? Just the presser, yeah? Yeah. There we go. My first experience was like I was working for the part time and it was really hard to get a license for that. So I had to end it up. And yeah, I was I was just making some money what I was needed. But I was kind of like hectic to me because there's lots of customers to me like just jump on the chair where it's doing like, oh, like 20 customers per day, maybe more. Yeah, yeah, yeah bringing more and more extra hours and things. Too much press on me. Like factory or? Like factory, yeah, yeah. Do you know what, bruv? Like, one thing I've learned in life is if you chase after money, money is gonna go further away. Yeah. The, the harder you chase after that money, the further that's, that's gonna be out of your reach. But if you just stay in one place and just do what you can do best and just do your best, do what you're good at, and look after the people around you, that money will come to you. Why did you choose Patrick? Why did you like... You said... but because he was the only one who had the power and in, in the eyes, like, I felt a good energy from him. Like, I don't know, I just had a feeling like I want to help him or I want to do something. Like, just, I just wanted to ask him because it's better to do business with someone. Patrick. Petro, ciao. Můžu se jednice ptát? Ano. Proč tady už čekám 15 minut, jestli? Jo, já se vám omlouvám, já jsem, já jsem byl jenom na obědě a právě okay. nestihl na vyvědat tím blodze, takže se omlouvám. Hmm. Jak se máte jenom dobrý? Jo, jenom, že mám za chvilku schůzku, tak pak to potřebuji trošku ospíšit. Já si říkám, že bychom to mysleli nějakou slevou na ten účestečka. Ještě jednou prosím. Že kdybychom to by mysleli nějakou určitě, slevou. určitě není problém. Co máte plány? Uh, v zkusku? No, v zkusku a... Ano, ano, no, pak, pak na rande. Pak na rande. Nebojte se zase udělat pešáka. <laughs> Jo, děkuji. 
I made it more difficult for him because I knew he was nervous today. So I always like to, that's what I do with Patrick. I put him under a lot of pressure because I want to keep building him and building him. And he's going to be my right hand man one day. So um, I've got to put him in these difficult situations so he can deal with them in the right way, the same way I do. Thank you, bruv. That Nick's probably just set his own fate. Nick's just done something stupid, totally stupid. Next time on The Barber Movement.